morning. It is Tuesday and I'm on the A3 and I am stuck in a load of shit traffic. Um, yeah, so on the way to the office, uh, what happened over the weekend? Well, guess what? I had my friend down. He stayed with me and my family and um, his name is Rob and uh, we had a good time. So basically, I brought him down from uh, uh, London. He lives in St. John's Wood and um, he stayed with us Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night and back yesterday. So we had a really uh, relaxing time because he's a city boy, originally from LA. And um, yeah, he just stayed down and we went to a party on Saturday night. Um, and the party was with my wife's cousin. Uh, so that was good. And uh, yesterday, uh, back to normal, back to the office. <sighs> I'll tell you what, I went to see this property. And this property was uh, in Belgravia. 12 and a half thousand square feet. Massive. So this guy who brought it, he's a Qatari, I don't know if he's royal, but he's worked for the government. And he bought this property two years ago for 17 million quid. Uh, when it was for sale originally, it was 24 mil. And he purchased it, I think it was like just before Brexit or something like that. And he made an offer of 17 mil and he bought it. So it's been sitting empty since then. Um, it is over seven stories. As I said, 12 and a half thousand square feet. You walk in this property, the hallway is massive. It's probably the ceiling height is probably three meters to four meters high. Uh, all the floor, parquet flooring, all the walls up to maybe uh, a meter and a half marble very over the top very tacky very sort of middle eastern sort of looking um and um the rooms the you know when you go in the front room as i said the ceilings are massive uh and it's all hand painted with gold leaf of like cherubs and angels and uh, zeus and apollo and you know just very, just very over the top but you know it would have cost Whoever refurbed this 15, 20 years ago would have spent I don't know, millions back then. Millions and millions back then. So basically, I'd, I, I, I walked around this property. We started at the top, uh, took the lift to the seventh floor and uh, worked our way down. So basically, every floor lends itself to an apartment. So instead of having a 12 and a half thousand square foot house in Belgravia with no parking, um, I'm going to suggest to the uh, owner, his representative, because it ain't going to sell like this, because at the moment he wants 24 million quid for it. It ain't going to sell. Impossible. Um, it's unmodernised, no parking, not going to happen. So I'm going to put a proposal together. We started on it yesterday to carve it up into seven or eight apartments. So as, as I said, each floor lends itself perfectly to one apartment. It's got a lift to every floor and also the staircase goes to every floor. And uh, the entrance to each apartment would be just one entrance. Any other entrances uh, could be blocked up. Um, and there's also uh, a potential way to create more square footage by infilling. So there's courtyards internally where they've got air conditioning. If you infill those with a double extension, one, two, you could probably create another 3,000 square feet if not two that will that would link the property um, nicely from front to back 
also next door they've built a a whopping rear extension now it looks like to me the one next door um, it's not it's not a residential extension it's like it's like a uh, it's for a conference room or something like that. it's massive it's probably a three or four thousand square foot extension so because they've done it next door there is a, a comparable now they've done it we can do it and what's good is if we do a, a single double extension out the rear any windows which are going to be overlooking onto the property next door it won't matter because they don't have windows next door because it's a commercial space um, even though the, you know this terrace you know they're, they're big massive terrace of properties in Belgrave all, they all look the same from the outside but this particular one is the only one which is all residential and freehold all the rest of them will be owned by Grosvenor Estates or something like that. So um, that's what we that's what we've done. I've got the floor plans from the agent. I've got lots of images, and now I'm going to be bringing on board uh, an interior design friend, who I've said, look, it's a big gamble. You know what, what we're going to do? We're going to be we're going to be putting a proposal together to the client. It's not going to. It may not even happen, but it's worth it because if we pitch to the client we show the client some love we put some time and effort into maybe doing some new layouts a lookbook to show the client what it's going to look like uh, work out uh, how many square feet we can create work out the added value in pound per square foot and give a, a value to each apartment so currently the chap wants 25 mil not going to happen if we carve up into apartments and we can create another three, four, five thousand square feet, the bill cost will be circa four to five million quid. So that will make the guy, so he's, he, he wants 25. If, the, if it then um, stacks up at the whole value of the property stacks up at uh, 30 mil the GDV I'm confident it's gonna be 35 mil so he's gonna make don't forget originally he only paid 17 million for it so 17 mil plus 5 mil and then he sells that 35 mil for seven or eight apartments happy days and it's gonna be a lot easier to sell seven or eight apartments <coughs> rather than one whopping great big house with no parking it ain't gonna happen because anyone who say if this house was um, say if someone bought it for 25 mil they're gonna have to spend 5 mil to do it up so that's gonna owe them 30 million right 30 million with no parking no it ain't gonna happen um, any billionaire or multi-millionaire Russian oligarch is gonna want his limousines and his Rolls Royces parked somewhere here there's nothing so that's what we're gonna do with that that is in Belgravia watch this space because I am gonna be really if I can pull this one out of the bag it's the best deal in London now in a residential house fantastic um, what else so uh, on Wednesday tomorrow we've got a second viewing on the church which I went to see on Monday so this church again it's massive it's 12,000 I think square feet in in the inside of the church is a structure being built and it's like that's where it's all goes a bit wrong because the structure being built the, the rooms are really tiny and it's on three floors and the person who's buying it is going to turn it into a school and um, basically um, the whole ground floor needs to be opened up so that means lots of structural walls need to be moved lots of steels need to be put in place lots of glass uh, internally to bring the light through so tomorrow at 1.30 I am taking Russ my project coordinator I'm taking uh, Nick the architect 
and I'm taking uh, a structural engineer. So we're all there so we can really get our heads around it. Yeah, so um, the church looks amazing. The internal structure, um, very, very small, very complicated. So the ground floor needs to be opened up. Uh, and uh, as I said, the client uh, exchanging and, and completing before Christmas and uh, they want to be in by May so it doesn't take it it needs to happen quickly so if they want us on board <coughs> and they need to sign us up we need to get structural engineer here on we need to get a structural engineer on board sorting his stuff out architect do the drawings and uh, we need to be in in January stripping out um, so um, yeah, traffic's picked up now a bit. So I'm going to be heading on into the office. I've got a meeting at um, 10 o'clock with a local Fulham uh, developer who wants to team up with us for us to do his construction. So I'll let you know what happens there uh, sometime uh, uh, tomorrow or the next day. And also at 11, um, 11 p.m. I've got a Hampshire uh, County Councillor coming in and another architect and we will be discussing um, the Isle of Wight deal um, which is still bubbling away and this is for uh, a 14 or a 12 to 14 acre site in uh, Sandown and we are doing a concept design for three to four hundred apartments and um, a hotel. So don't forget to subscribe and like to my YouTube channel and um, uh, have a great day and I'll speak to you all later on. See ya.